I've been a principal at Balloon now for three years. Uh, I've been here a total of six years serving as the assistant principal for the first three. This <laughs> is both math and English. And law. Right. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to get them law. We're a much different place in the last three years than we were. I think we started as a school that was trying to find our way, get our get our trajectory or our direction uh, correct. And now I think we're seeing the results of that, belief in their academic success. As far as the belief in, uh, from the city and from the community around what our kids can do and to what degree they're willing to help our children achieve their dreams. I think our biggest mission is at what we call the new Baloo now. Our new mission is to make sure our children, are, uh, that Baloo's graduating and developing nationally competitive children for college and careers. Also, we're making sure our kids go from being the, uh, the best employee to the best manager and executive. We want our children to be a part of the fabric of what is becoming a, a brand new America. Starting with uh, Chancellor Michelle Rhea, and now with Chancellor Henderson, I think that, you know, Baloo Senior High School has been given a level of decision making and a level of self-governance. School reform is good. Uh, I think politics about school reform are bad because there's not a whole lot of, um, let's just say money always gets in the way. You know, quite frankly, people make a lot of decisions based upon finance and not about what is truly best for our children. Uh, if we know that uh, children need certain things in order to be successful, if we accept the fact that children are uh, products of whatever adults have or haven't done to them, and we know that positive inputs bring about a greater likelihood of positive outputs, then we do a better job with reform because we would make sure we're positively inputting to a degree that concedes all things to a child's development, we'll be in a much better place. So it's a great start. It's nowhere near where it should be. But at Belusia High School, things that are definitely solid is our student attendance rates have gone up, our student behavior issues have gone down, our, student, our students' academic achievements are on the rise. Our uh, mobility, our students who are coming in and staying at Baloo versus leaving, our promotion rates are on the rise. So we have multiple categories where we're being uh, a school that is definitely turning around. That makes us a turnaround specialty school, if you will. A lot of other people, they, you know, we can drill and kill a test. We can bring a bunch of kids into one room, give them cake and ice cream, lock them in, and drill and kill a test. We can do that all day long. But if you really want to turn around schools, you have to go to the core of a child, change their beliefs, change their perception of what they can become, change the level of expectations you have on a kid, and that's when a kid becomes something different. Our children have been to Senegal, to Costa Rica, to Spain. Uh, we're on their way to Egypt until the unrest occurred, on their way to France. Our children have been all across the world with our band. Our children have been in places and spaces throughout this country that they weren't getting to before. So we're exposing them to the world at an earlier age, exposing the world to them at an earlier age as well, because once everybody's aware of one another, that's when the obligation to work with one another comes into play. Tell every parent I talk to that the child's gonna graduate. When they walk across the stage, they have their diploma, they have their college acceptance letter, they have their financial aid forms, they have a four-year plan. I want kids to walk out here knowing what their trajectory is. And if it changes, that's fine. But we're no longer gonna have kids at the old McDonald's commercial. Hey, you graduate, what are you gonna do? And the kid says, I don't know, go home and make a sandwich. Like, we're not having that kind of mentality anymore. Kids are walking out of here with the drive. They know this is just the, this is the jump off spot. This is just the, this is the platform. Our kids are gonna walk out of here with guaranteed positions in universities. I want schools to, to grant us those, you know, we hold these many spots for Baloo student type of relationships. And that's happening when our kids do things like some of our graduates of recent, you know, become Gates Millennium Scholars, become, you know, uh, White House scholars, become White House interns, get invited to by President Obama to come and sit, you know, in the, uh, in the gallery with his wife during his first State of the Union. Those are the things our kids are now doing. It's only showing our children that these successes are reserved for people who don't live in Southeast. They are reserved for those who don't live on this side of town, who don't look like us, who don't have our names and our pronunciations. This is built for you. Our kids are now realizing that, and that's what I want for them, a situation where every door they're not only allowed to go in, but they have the keys to it now. Mm. In five years' time, Volusia High School will be, will be the best high school in the city, competing to be one of the best high schools in the country. And we're going to do just that. Mm.